Hi guys, it's Jerry again with He Provides Homestead. And tonight we are um, actually going to do a craft, another craft. And as most of you know, um, Mother's Day is right around the corner. And if you don't know, then shame on you. Um, so I've been thinking about what kind of crafts could I make for the mothers that are in my life that um, I care about without breaking the bank. So I've come up with a craft. Um, I actually saw it on Pinterest but couldn't find the direction. So we, I've just altered it as I liked. And um, this craft is easy enough that kids probably 7 or 8 and above could actually do for moms, grandmas, you know, who, teachers, um, whoever's in their life that they want to do something for if they're a primitive girl. Um, so I think it's going to be great. We're going to, it's super easy and we're just going to walk you through it. Um, here I have a piece of barn wood. Um, if you saw the video of our growth chart, which my fabulous husband will link, I don't know, one side, I, I can't remember. Um, anyways, he will link that above um, about the growth charts, but this is the piece that we cut off from one of those boards. And as you can see, it is pretty primitive. It's on the back. It's been laying for who knows how long, and I'm not even sure where I got the boards at. Um, it's about seven to eight inches long, and we're going to use this. Um, first thing we're going to do is paint it, and then we're actually, um, before we stop and let the paint wet, um, dry, we're going to make some flowers, make a couple roses out of our burlap. So we'll do that, um, but first we're going to paint it so I've got, got it finished and then it can have the most amount of time it needs to dry. Um, I chose a light, light white to beige um, color, just a pretty, pretty um, light color um, to put on the board. So when I've actually played with it, I took the colors that I liked. Um, one was a little bit dark, one was a little bit light, so I actually don't have a name for this color, and I've played with it. Um, so I'm just going to pour just a little bit, and depending on how much paint you want, whether you want the board, you know, truly all one color, or you want that wood to shine through, which I do, I want to be able to see the wood behind it. So I'm just going to go over certain pieces, but with, I also wanted it to be able to, for the picture to stand out. So, as you can tell, it's not going to take too long at all to have it all painted, and I'll do the, the edges just so it all looks the same. On this side where it's cut, I want to make sure and paint that so we don't see that cut and the different um, colorization. And that's about all I'm going to do to it. It took me less than 30 seconds to do. We'll put it on the side and we'll let that dry. Right there. Let me wipe my paint off. Alright, so we're going to, one of the things that we're going to put on this for decoration is a burlap rose. See how cute they are? Um, and we've actually, I've actually done a different type of burlap rose before and we'll have Chico link that on as well in one of the videos. Um, but these are, these are just as simple as those. Um, and, but kids could actually do this um, because you don't need a lot of the hot glue gun as you did in the other one. And, um, you can do these also in about two minutes and they're done. So what we're going to do, you're going to need, and I'm just going to guesstimate, probably about 12 inches of your burlap. Oh, and another thing, um, this is so easy and cheap, one of the reasons I did pick this, the burlap came from Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. You can get the twine, the burlap twine, at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, not this one, this one was actually gave to me. But um, I, I normally get my burlap at Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of three. So super simple, super cheap. You want to, on one end, because this has um, the metal ribbing, ribbon on the end, I'm going to cut that off because I want to be able to manipulate this. So I don't need that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this ribbon, this is two inches, so if you've got a ribbon that's like an inch wide, then you won't need to fold it. But since this is um, taller, since it is wider, then we are going to fold it. We're going to fold it one half down and just kind of mash it down a little bit with your finger so it'll kind of stay. 
Now, you're going to take your the tip of that, the end, and make, just fold it over. That's going to be your middle of your rose. I've got my hot glue gun here. And the worst part about this is trying not to burn your fingers. All right, so we're going to hold that. Okay, after it dries, two or three seconds. Then, as you've got this folded, you're just going to wrap, literally wrap it around your middle, that middle um, flower. You can see, I'm just going to twist it. See that? And you don't want it real tight because you want it kind of fluffy so that it will look like that rose coming about. Um, if you want to, as you get to going, you can stop, put a little bit of glue right there so you know that's going to stay. I hate when I when I do them and, I, and I'm too lazy to put that glue on there and then I get them all the way done and just because I'm not holding it tight or something they come undone. So we're just going to ensure that these are going to work, they're going to stay, we won't have problems with them. Can you see how we're wrapping it? And I just wrap it all the way around. Literally all the way around until you are out of your ribbon, and then I tuck that bot that end in the bottom. Tuck it right there. And then just kind of pull it out because you want it fluffy. And I don't know if you can see, that right there is your rose. Isn't that cute? Um, and I haven't decided whether we're going to put two or three on this board. Uh, probably, knowing me, I'll have to look at it and then decide. So, as you can tell, that didn't take long at all. And if I wasn't explaining, it would have taken less time. So you can make these in probably 30 to 45 seconds. If you've got kids helping, you're probably looking at a little bit longer. Um, but they are very easy to do cheap to do, a cute little craft they can do um, with a little bit of help. And if, you're, if your weather is like Indiana weather right now, we have tons of rain. Um, for those that are following, you'll know that um, we are still flooding. So Chico can put the, <laughs> those links up too. It's still flooding here. Alright, we're going to gonna stop and let the board dry. And as soon as it's dried, we'll come back and we'll finish up. And you can see the finished product, okay? So we'll be back in just a sec, guys. Okay guys, we're back. Um, as you can see, our board is painted. I've also taken some um, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel and just sprayed just a tad bit about uh, around the whole thing because I wanted it to have a um, shine to it. If you don't, then just don't use that. Um, but after I looked at it, I decided that's what I wanted to do with this. Um, I've also made a few more of my roses because I couldn't decide which ones I liked better and how I was going to put them on there. Um, I did think of a tidbit. You know, we talked about the kids and making the flowers. You can have them wear thimbles on their fingers and thumbs so they don't get burnt. So that's just a side note right there. Um, too bad I didn't think about it before I burnt my finger. Okay, so now we're going to take our twine and we're just going to wrap it and I'm actually going to tie it around and then knot it in the back. Put a knot in it and then that's going to stay. And what you want this to, you want it pretty tight because this is what's going to hold your picture in. So I'm going to wrap it and I will just unravel a little bit here. So I've got some play. Um, I'm just going to wrap it around. Then, as it... I'm not going to mess. Okay. Then, you need want to go up just a little bit to where your picture would be, where you want to put that picture in it and use it as a, a guide. 
See what I have? Now I'm going to do a crisscross starting from the top. Here we go. Starting from the top and the back. I'll knot this so it won't come out. Alright, we're going to crisscross it because I want an X. I want it to be an X symbol. See how I did from the bottom to the top? When you think you have enough, um, I think I did like about eight on one side and then I jumped and did the other side. So as I come around this time, then we're going to go to that bottom. We are going to tie it in the back, cut it off, cut these off. Now, because your board is so wide, it will actually stand up on its own. If you decided that you wanted to put it on the wall, then you would have to put a picture hanger back here. But I'm undecided whether or not this is going to be a gift or sit at my desk at work. So we'll see. All right, with that done, then you put. We're going to put the roses on, and I think we. I've decided that we're going to use three roses on one side. Yep, just like that. Take our glue gun. And the thimble. Well, I shouldn't need the thimble on this one. You want a pretty good amount of glue. And you'll actually have to push down on them because they're going to be tough to, to glue down. So there's one. Two. Get all the glue off of it. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? You'll take a picture and you'll slide it underneath that rope. And you are done. It shouldn't take you very long at all. This is an easy craft you can do with your kids or you can do just for your home interior. Whatever you like, whatever you think. If you like this, if you have um, thoughts about it, what I could have done to, or what, what you would have done different, please let me know. Um, you can like, share, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Also, you can see he provides Homestead on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And with that said, guys, good night and Godspeed.